Greetings from Life and Life Ministries. I am Reverend Michelle Young, and at the last session that we spoke, I started to share on the church being salt and light. And the word of God says in Matthew 5, 13, you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Jesus is saying to us that us in the church of Trinidad and Tobago, if we lose the salt that we are, if we are no longer light, if any member of the public has to declare we should close down because we are ineffective, we have reached a new low. And we need to be really concerned about this because the word of God says that if we lose the flavor of salt, and if we are no longer light, then we are to be thrown out. And in the book of Revelation, I shared that in fact, Jesus says, repent or I will remove your lampstand. And the lampstand is his presence. He has that right to close down the churches. So I'm here to say, following up on what I started saying last week, and that message would be up on YouTube under Life and Life Ministries. I want you to know that it all starts with idolatry. Colossians 3, 5 to 10. It started with idolatry for the Israelites, and it starts with idolatry for us. The word of God says, therefore put to death your members which are on the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness, which is idolatry. You can read the rest of that verse, but I want you to understand. Fornication, uncleanness, passion, evil desire, covetousness is idolatry. And Isaiah was sent to prophesy to the Israelites and they were guilty of idolatry. They were guilty of idolatry and we are guilty of idolatry in the church of Jesus Christ. And the thing about it is, when he was sent to prophesy, God said to him, and this is Isaiah 6 and I read from verse 9. And he said, go and tell this people, keep on hearing, but do not understand. Keep on seeing, but do not perceive. And as you continue to read this passage, in verse 10, it says, make the heart of this people dull and their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and return and be healed. The long and short of it is that Isaiah said, well, Lord, if they're not going to hear and if they're not going to see, how long, Lord, how long? And the Lord answered, until the cities are laid waste and without inhabitant, the houses are without a man, the land is utterly desolate. And then he goes on to say in the last verse, in verse 13, he says, whose stump remains when it is cut down, so the holy seed shall be its stump. God is saying, Isaiah, go to these people. They're not going to hear. They're not going to see. But you need to go in obedience. And you will go for as long as when judgment comes, a holy remnant remains, that's how long you're going to prophesy to them because I'm going to bring judgment because of their disobedience. Saints, I want us to understand that Israel agreed to terms of holiness in the book of Deuteronomy and they turned away. And I want you to understand that God sent the prophets to speak to them. They broke covenant. We are doing the same thing in the church of Jesus Christ and we have the word of God and God will still speak through the prophetic because we have the fivefold ministry, prophecy being one and the office of prophet. They broke covenant through idolatry, foreign gods. We are breaking covenant through idolatry and I've just listed the whole list. In fact, it's not complete. Fornication, uncleanness, covetousness, evil desire. I read it to you. That's idolatry. I want you to know that when that happens, your relationship with God, your love relationship with God, your vertical relationship with God is 
compromised and jeopardized. And as a result of that, and it happened to the Israelites, it's happening to us now. Social injustice comes as a result. You know why? Because the church starts operating in a cold love. And when the church does that inside the church and outside the church, we become numb to sin. We become numb. We are not loving the way God calls us to love him, nor to love our neighbor. In Jeremiah 5, 28 to 29, we read the prophets and the priests, they went astray. That's the next stage. Social injustice because the prophets and priests go astray. They have grown fat. They are sleek. Yes, they surpass the deeds of the wicked. They do not plead the cause, the cause of the fatherless. Yet they prosper and the right of the needy they do not defend. Shall I not punish them for these things, saith the Lord? Shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as this? An astonishing and horrible thing has been committed in the land. Talking about us here. He was talking about the Israelites, but he's talking about us here now. In Trinidad and Tobago, the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests rule by their own power and my people love to have it so. Saints, I want you to understand God is speaking to us and we need to listen. And as a result, the next stage that comes, it comes from the idolatry. What follows up on that, aside from the social injustice, comes religious ritualism forms on god forms of godliness with no power so and that's to cover sin isaiah 1 12 to 14 when you come to appear before me who has required this from your hand to trample my courts bring no futile in um bring no futile sacrifices incense is an abomination to me and the Lord goes on, he says, the new moons, the Sabbath, the calling of assemblies. I cannot endure iniquity and the sacred meeting. Your new moons, he goes on, etc., etc. They are a trouble to me. I am weary of bearing with them. Saints in the body of Christ in Trinidad and Tobago, if there is no repentance, judgment is surely coming. If we look at the pattern of what has happened throughout church history. If we look at the word of God, God is speaking to us today as he spoke to the Israelites. And I want us to understand that idolatry has consumed us in the church of Trinidad and Tobago. And a cold love and a social injustice has come and it has not made us flinch. And we are no longer salt and we are no longer light. I'm going to pause right now to say we are Life in Life Ministries. You can contact us at 355-5090-225-6055 on Facebook and YouTube under Life in Life Ministries. Open air prayer meeting, Tuesday at 4 p.m. Bible study at 6 p.m. Tarrying 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. We worship, we repent before the Lord, his spirit comes. Sunday at 4 p.m., 45 Anna Street. Okay, so here's what I wanna say. I want us to understand that things like, which I will talk about in other sessions, but I'm touching on it, okay? Um, we are no longer the salt and light. We recruit people to buy into pyramid schemes, like, like if it's a crusade that we're running for souls to be saved. Um, and we use occultic means. We teach the people visualization and things that are occultic. As I said, that's for another session. Um, the Church of Jesus Christ in Trinidad and Tobago has strayed. With the Israelites, if there was sin in the camp, it didn't mean it didn't matter if everybody didn't sin. They had sin, all suffered the presence of God being removed. And God is calling the church to come back. And there's a remnant that will no longer put up with the forms of godliness and the lack of holiness and the lack of repentance. We are not going to swallow the watered down word. We do not want it. We will vomit it out in the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to understand that if we do not listen, just like what happened and I drew our attention last week, I spoke about 
Ananias and Sapphira, because many of us don't want to hear about the Old Testament, though we do believe that it's the Old and New Testament, the whole counsel of God is applicable today. But Ananias and Sapphira, they lied. And God wanted to set a precedent of holiness in his church when the church was birthed. And so he destroyed them. The God of love allowed them to be destroyed for lying. Saints, I want you to understand God's cup runneth over. We are doing more than lying in the body of Christ. I want us to understand the fornication, the adultery, the, the lines for prophecy, a thousand dollar, 500 prophetic divination, charging the people for what is this work of the spirit of God that we have no business charging people for to give them a prophetic word. For, I, I listen, I could go on and on, but I'm begging God for mercy, Father begging, and I'm asking all of you who are listening to Please join me in begging God to forgive the Church of Trinidad and Tobago. And before I pray, I want to share, you don't have to accept it as from the Lord, but I'm going to share what one of the prophets in our church has brought, and there are others, and there are others in other churches with similar messages. Judgment is coming and has already begun in the house of the Lord. You cry out for mercy, and I have heard your cries, but I shall cleanse my house of the sin. All those who do not want to submit, who choose sin, will be no more. I will blot them out of my sight. My church has strayed and forgotten who I am. They have forgotten their God and gone after idols. My anger is increased and shall not be put out. All those who do not heed my words, who do not listen to my warnings, they shall perish, for I am and my kingdom is everlasting. I shall arise and make my name holy, for my people prostitute themselves. Time and time again, I have sent warnings, but they do not listen. My children have not wanted truth, so I have sent in wolves in sheep's clothing. I have given them lies for prophecies to please their itching ears. Judgment is at the house of the Lord. The feet that took Ananias are here to take those who choose sin. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my God, we cry out to you, Father, for mercy. Father, I ask you to hear the cry of those who are becoming convicted and who are convicted that the sin in the church in Trinidad and Tobago cannot continue. Father, release your fire upon the airwaves right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we ask you, O oh God, to raise up a holy remnant. Father, hear the cries of repentance. God, we stand in the gap for all the sin where we have prostituted ourselves in the body of Christ. My God, we repent of the fornication. We repent of the adultery. We repent of the idolatry. We repent of the harlotry. We repent, oh God, of the occultism that we are introducing into the church, oh God. Father, under the disguise of it being faith, when God, you have never called us, oh God, to add or subtract to the word of God. Father, we repent repent for the pastors who are not seeking to do all they can to feed the sheep but are feeding themselves. God, strengthen and bless those who are diligent, one who are seeking through your word to feed your people. God, we repent in the mighty name of Jesus. My Father, we ask you, O oh God, to do whatever it takes to move upon your church, to shake whatever has to be shaken. God, remove the deception. We repent for the deception. My God, drive out deception. Drive out fornication. My Father, where we have told ourselves we could dress how we want to go to church. Father, we could carry on. We could dress in church one way and dress another way outside oh god father have mercy upon the church of trinidad and tobago my god bring it to life your life in our life will bring us to life in jesus mighty name